Yo, what's up everyone? Daniel Yuck here. Thank you all for tuning in today. I appreciate it. Today, I want to go ahead and bring you on up close and in-depth review on the CNC Q3 tattoo machine. As you all can see right here, this is the CNC Q3 tattooing machine by CNC. The box is always a quality. I always love their boxes. Very simple and straightforward. This is not, this one has not been opened. So we're going to go ahead and unbox it right here. And we're gonna go ahead and take an up close look at it together on camera. So let's go ahead and do so. So let's just go ahead and get into opening up the plastic and checking out all the content. So we'll go ahead and remove the plastic. And let's go ahead and open up the box here. Now, upon opening the box, we are greeted with a pamphlet or a brochure, as you all can see here, elaborating on the Q3 itself. Go ahead and pause the screen here for you all. Same thing with this side. Go ahead and pause the screen for you all here as well. I will go ahead and touch base on this a little bit more here shortly. I just wanted to go ahead and touch base on the contents on what, you know, as far as what's inside the actual box here. So here, right off the bat, we do have the actual machine itself. Let's go ahead and open that up and take a look at that firsthand. And as you all can see, this machine is a beauty. It definitely feels great in my hand. It definitely looks of quality it definitely feels of quality it's not too heavy at all and it is a pill shaped as you all can see so for those who are not familiar this is the cnc q3 it is a pill shaped tattoo machine it is a short pin style tattooing machine as you all can see let's go ahead and get to the box so and see what other contents are in there before we actually dive into the tattooing machine itself uh, let's go ahead and take this part out here So upon removing that, we are greeted with a box and a piece of foam that holds it in place. Now these thinner clip cords that companies are making are growing on me. So I don't know. I don't really use clip cords often, but when I do, I use a, clip, a thinner clip cord. I never have issues with it at all. Personally, I do enjoy using these clip cords, the thin clip cords, thicker clip cords. It really doesn't matter to me. I also have here an O-ring and a tool for the actual tattoo machine itself. And that is the contents of the Q3. That is what this box will consist of upon picking it up on your end let's go ahead and take a closer look here at the tattoo machine itself so as you all can see we have the cnc engraving it is an rca input compatible with most needles on you know most cartridge needles on the market let's go ahead and do a rain nine row shader let's just put one of those in there and it fits perfectly as you all can see. There's even some leeway to go ahead and actually just slide it in and out. Locks in place like so, felt great upon doing so. This is going to be a click style grip as well, as you all can see. It definitely does sound nice. It definitely does feel of quality. You can go ahead and remove the grip here as well. So you can go ahead and sterilize this part as you need to, this part as well. I'll go ahead and show you one more and break this down fully here within this video as well. I'm just trying to give you an up close look at the aesthetics of the actual machine. This is going to be the orange version and that, that's what the extra O-ring was for, should we ever need it. Here is the grip and this is of an aluminum, as you can hear. It's of an aluminum felt, so it definitely does feel of a high quality material. So I am personally loving the way that this machine looks and feels. It definitely feels like it's of quality. And the motor is actually right here on this part of the machine. So you can go ahead and unscrew it like so. And this machine also breaks down and it's very, very similar to the Q2. I also have a full review on the CNC Q2. This is the Q3 breakdown. And again, it's very, very similar. This is what it looks like inside right here. 
So it's gonna be very easy to sterilize these two components. You can go ahead and, you know, dip this in the cavus side, kind of hold it there should you choose to do so. I would do that as well, I don't see why not. But this is the motor itself right here. As you all can see, I'm very, very excited to try it out. I'm being careful with the way that I move here. I don't want to damage any components or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and assemble this back together. And upon doing so, we'll go ahead and load up the nine round shader and test out the actual performance of the machine. that so you just want to take your time and make sure that you find the right lineup and then go ahead and line it up after a while you will definitely get used to it my q2 started off like that and i got used to it now i do it pretty much like nothing it doesn't you know it's neither here or there and just go ahead and assemble this back together like so and then we're going to go ahead and pull out that very thin cord that comes with the CNC machines and again this is growing on me when I've used this in the past and it's like held on my arm or something it feels like it's floating it's not it doesn't really weigh anything down because of the light cable here so that's a plus let me go ahead and turn the power supply on here right now we're gonna be pushing at 6.5 volts and as you all can hear I'm not sure if you all can hear that but it sounds great it sounds quiet let's go ahead and take this up to 7.5 so here we are at 7.5 volts i'm gonna go ahead and throw the nine round shader on there and this is what it sounds like with the nine round shader this machine feels great in my hand i'm loving it so far Let's go ahead and find an appropriate needle depth. As you all can see, it's super easy to adjust the needle depth. So as you all can see, we're really hanging out right there. Go ahead and adjust the throw. I'm probably gonna be somewhere around there. I like to really hang my needle out simply because I don't like pulls of ink under my needle. I like to just get a little bit of ink and then work on sections at a time, pull one line at a time, A to B my entire way through every tattoo so i would probably hang it around somewhere there give or take um, but nonetheless as you all can see it's super easy to adjust the needle depth the machine sounds very very smooth i'm actually very excited to try this out we're going to go ahead and actually put this machine to the test here shortly we're going to do some lining we're going to throw some shading at it and anything else that we can think of maybe we'll even pack some black for you know just good old keepsake there but nonetheless i'm loving the way that this machine looks i'm loving the way that it feels it is definitely a pin shaped style tattoo machine and again i'm a big fan of that i have nothing negative to say about it at this current moment it feels of quality um but yeah there you all have it i just want to go ahead and show you all up close here this is the cable running with it it's a very smooth motor Let me go ahead and put it into my, or on my hand so you guys can kind of see the size of it. So you guys can see that it's a very small tattoo machine. It's a very, it's gonna be a very easy machine for me to wrap, but there you will have it again. It is a very small, high quality tattoo machine is what this feels like. We are gonna go ahead and put this to the test. We're gonna, see, you know, again, throw some lining, shading, whatever we can think of upon the way. I am gonna go ahead and wrap it, so I'll show you all how I would wrap this sort of tattoo machine. Before we get to the wrapping part of this tattoo here, I kinda of wanna to touch base on this user guide, and I also want to show you all a different needle configuration. So right now it's pushing a round shader. This is gonna be a rain nine round shader. I also have here a CNC police cartridge, and these are some of their brand new needles. In my opinion, these are amazing. These are probably gonna be my new go-to needles when I get my hands on a full batch. I can test different configurations. We'll bring a full in-depth review. But for right now, I wanna go ahead and let's see how it pushes a bigger uh, needle configuration. So this one's going to be a standard 13 round Magnum, as you all can see there. And let's go ahead and see how 
the Q3 pushes. So as you all can see, it's pushing this new configuration and we're at 7.5, we didn't change the voltage and it's pushing it just fine. Sounds great, sounds stable. That's a great sounding machine. It feels great as well. The vibration isn't too much. The vibration is very minimal. So when I wrap it as well, I feel that I'm hardly gonna feel any vibration or it's gonna be very comfortable to use for long hours. But as you all can see, the CNC Q3 looks great. They do call it a pill style tattoo machine or the CNC Q3 pill. It is a pill style short pin tattoo machine. Um, there you will have it. I just wanted to go ahead and bring an up close and personal look again at this point If you have any questions or if I haven't touched base on something specific that you may want to know Just drop it in the comments below and I'll go ahead and get to you as soon as possible And I'll guide you in the best possible direction But nonetheless as you all can see there we are pushing round shaders We are pushing round magnums with no problem with ease at the same voltage of 7.5 This is what it sounds like again Silent now in terms of the user manual so basically it's just giving us cam installations it's giving us instructions on how to replace the cam you know what to do if certain things happen with the actual machine here setting the needle depth as i showed you all there it's basically giving you instructions and it's basically telling you everything that you would need to know in regards to this specific tattoo machine right here so i'm bringing you one up close look at that the Q3. Let's bring this up close. Let's go ahead and give you a look at the back here. Now this is giving us more information about the specs of the machine is what it looks like. So as you all can see, high speed tattoo or a high speed board tattoo. So it's basically talking about the motor there. It does have a three again RCA jack as I showed you all there as well. I'm gonna go ahead and show you all of this as well. It is auto clavable as it shows you right here. Very very nice, which is referring to the grip, sterilizing and cleaning. As you all can see right here. So I just wanted to go ahead and bring another up close look at this guide right here. And this is something to keep in reference. Should you experience anything adverse upon using this specific machine, chances are it's going to be in here and you can go ahead and solve the issue on your end. But nonetheless, that is the contents. I love the felt bags that these come with. Everything is cool inside. I'm, I'm very excited to try this machine out. We are going to go ahead and wrap this machine. And then from that point forward, we can go ahead and pull up a tattoo and put this machine to the test and see how it actually performs. Okay, so how I would approach wrapping a machine like this or any pin style tattoo machine is I'm going to go ahead and use the standard blue film as you see right here, which basically is going to cover the beginning of my tattoo or actually my entire tattoo machine. It's going to run onto my clip cord. So I'm going to go ahead and choose to wrap it that way for now. There's multiple ways that you can go about doing this, but for this specific demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this as one since we are using a traditional standard clip cord here. So, or a cord here, an RCA cord, my bad. So let's go ahead and continue. And I'm going to go ahead and use some white grip tape as you all see here as well. So how I would approach this is I would simply start with a tattoo machine and then I would pretty straightforward put the barrier around it sometimes you have to kind of tug with the barrier here to get it going and then once you get it on you'll be good like so so it is going to be a snug fit and that's exactly what you want you do want it to be a snug fit i'm just going to keep the approach very simple very minimal. I used to use tape as well, but I figured out a way where I essentially can just cut out using tape. So upon figuring out my workflow, as you can see now, the cord is actually covered as well. So we still have a little bit to go and the cord is covered. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this down a little bit more. 
bring this up. I always leave some slack right here so that way I can actually adjust the depth accordingly. So I always leave slack in this area, wherever I need to turn it. But even at that, everything is covered right here. You can even um, put on another sleeve if you choose and then tape it together to have the entire cord cover. But for now I'm using, typically you would use one entire clip cord just for the cord. And then you would go ahead and use another wrap for the machine. However, this demonstration, I feel like I'm getting the point across. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do on this end, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just flap it over. So when I put the grip tape on, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap that with it. And this is where we're just gonna poke a little hole through and that's where the needle's gonna go through. So as you all can see, I kind of pull it back there, not too much. And then, bring it down as you all can see. And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do at the beginning is I kind of like to have it tight. So that way when I'm tattooing, the plastic doesn't really go around, doesn't move. I don't have to keep pulling this or pushing this in or out. Everything is set and ready to go. And I'm gonna go ahead and just simply, after I get those tight pulls, wrap it to build comfort. And that seems about right to me for now. You can go ahead and add more should you choose. You can take away, but this is the idea. So this is how I wrap my machine as you all can see right here. It is completely covered. You can simply go ahead and just grab a sterile needle, a brand new needle, poke a hole through it. You know, I don't recommend um, using a needle that you're actually gonna use to tattoo. Use something sterile, whether it's a toothpick or something of such to go ahead and get a hole through. And essentially that's where this go ahead and fall through there so you can go ahead and push this in tighten it you're now ready to go as you all can see there's a full plastic barrier around the machine itself it's pushing just fine i'll just show you right here if you look right here the entire machine is covered so the machine is not exposed to anything out here let me go ahead and remove the cartridge this is what it looks like simple little hole i just put the needle in there you all saw what i did there so that's how i'm going to approach wrapping this machine that's how i approach wrapping my q2 as well and any other short pin or tattoo machine of this style right here these pin style tattoo machines it sounds great it feels great i'm very very excited to get to tattooing with this but yeah let's go ahead and actually set up to tattoo if there's anything else that i feel i can touch base on i will go ahead and do so but let me go ahead and show you all a close look at one more time at the wrapping. Wrapping is great. This is going to be subjective. You can add more, you can take away. Can I still adjust the needle depth? Yes, I can. As you all can see, needle depth is fully adjustable still because I left some slack right there. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and set up for a tattoo now, and then we're gonna go ahead and see how this tattoo performs. We're gonna go ahead and put it up to the test here. Okay, so we have the CNC Q3 set up. We're gonna be using a Quill Bug Pin 11 Run liner, and we're gonna be tattooing the outline of this rose right here. I figured we go ahead and throw some lining at it. We're gonna go ahead and throw some shading at it. And then I can go ahead and come back and give you all my full and honest opinion on the CNC Q3. We can go ahead and see how it performs right here up close. So I'll go ahead and give you all multiple angles as well upon pulling lines. So let's just go ahead and get into that. So I actually wanted to open the cartridge here and I wanted to insert it on the camera for you all so you can see how smooth the needles go in. And it's as easy as that. And I'm ready to go. I just wanted to go ahead and share that with you all. It feels and it sounds great. So let's go ahead and proceed to get to this tattoo. I'm gonna go ahead and bring you all to a different view here so you can get more of an up close look. Okay, so we are up close now. I'm gonna go ahead and pull some lines on camera so that we can all see how the CNC Q3 performs right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just begin the process as we normally would. Yeah.
Now, one thing that I am noticing right off the bat is that there is a little bit of give, which I like. I like for my machines to have give. I don't like for it to be so direct. I do like that give, so that's actually a plus for me. So the Q3 does have a bit of give with it. That's gonna be something that comes down to like subjective, you know, personal preference type deal. So as you all can see, we're pulling lines and with ease I'll add the Q3 is performing and lining as you all can see here. I'm loving the way that this machine is lining so far. And right now we are running at 7.5 even. So let's go ahead and proceed accordingly and then we can go ahead and get some more uh, up close looks here for you all. So these lines are coming out great. I'm personally loving the way that these lines are. I am loving the way that the CNC Q3 is lining. It's definitely lining like a champ. I want to go ahead and pull a little bit more lines here for you all so that way we can go ahead and get a good idea of how this performs and remember I am using a quill bug pin 11 round liner I am tattooing on Franken's skin. I also have a full review on this uh, specific tattooing skin, so you can check that out. I have a full review on this specific needle, so you can check that out as well. And I will be bringing a full review, or actually you're watching the full review on the Q3 as well right now. That's just me being picky and I want my lines to look a certain way. I'm actually loving though the way that the uh, CNC Q3 is lining. Again, we are gonna throw multiple things at it. We're gonna do some shading and stuff like that. Maybe, maybe we'll even pull out a scratch skin in and see how it packs the black as well so we can get a good idea of how this machine packs. Okay, so, so far, so great. I'm loving the CNC Q3. I'm gonna go ahead and we can switch over to a time-lapse mode here. And I am gonna go ahead and proceed to outline this entire piece here. And after we go ahead and get that outline done, we are gonna go ahead and throw some shading at it. So let's just go ahead and switch over to a time-lapse mode and then we're gonna go ahead and come back. I just wanted to go ahead and come back over here to video mode real quick and i want to point out that i'm quickly getting adjusted to the q3 and so far the flow of it's nice the give on it is nice it definitely feels like a quality machine the motor definitely feels stable and powerful as you all can hear and see and i just wanted to go ahead and also touch base on that so allow me to go ahead and pull some more lines for you here in real time so that we can see how this performs we can hear it
So as you can see, we're getting nice, smooth, saturated, one pass lines. And again, I can't exaggerate that enough. I am loving the way that this machine is performing. It feels great. The motor feels powerful. It's definitely saturating those lines the way that I want it to and need it to. I just wanted to go ahead and come back and let you all see a few more lines via, you know, video mode instead of time lapse. Because I know it's kind of harder to see time lapse because how fast it is. However, I just wanted to go ahead and touch base on that. So we are going to go ahead and switch back over to time lapse mode. Let's just go ahead and pull a few more lines here. very very smooth lines very nice and saturated as you all can see i'm loving the cnc q3 so far let's go ahead and switch back over to time lapse mode and let's get this tattoo outlined this part's too smooth to not bring up close here for this rose and the cnc q3 it did well it performed effortlessly i love the way that the lines felt upon applying them to the tattoo skin there was a bit of give which i'm a personal fan of and that's going to vary from person to person but for me the give on the q3 is great it was a seamless easy effort effortless for me to apply these lines here on this specific rose I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get a rain bug pen three round liner and we're gonna go ahead and approach shading with like a stipple approach. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take the voltage down to about five, 5.5 on the Q3. And we're gonna go ahead and see how the tattoo machine performs with that style of shading. Okay, so we have the Q3 loaded with a rain bug pen three round liner. We are pushing at 5.5 volts as you can see right here. So we're at a very low voltage. I want to go ahead and apply some shading here and we're going to be using straight black ink here and I'm going to go ahead and just apply shading we're going to see how the machine works upon you know applying shading with a stipple approach so let's go ahead and just begin here I'm actually going to go ahead and begin right here Mm-hmm. 
So off the bat, what I will say is it definitely does feel smooth. As you can see, we are applying and the dots are beginning to layer over one another. Very, very nice. And as you can see, I am using a controlled amount of black so that way I can be real precise about where I put that, where I put the dots at. And as you can see, it is layering, the Q3 is layering dots very, very nicely over one another. And it is beginning to look like a shading gradient effect there. So again, I am running at 5.5 volts. We are using the CNC Q3 pill style tattoo machine with a bug pin ring, uh, three round liner. So as you can see, again, it is pulling and performing great in terms of shading. I am gonna go ahead and we're gonna switch over to a time-lapse mode here. So that way we can go ahead and proceed to shading. I just wanna go ahead and let you all see the shading up close here. And for those of you who are wondering how I approach stipple shading, I did make an in-depth review on that as well. So be sure to check that out. I'm liking the way that this machine shades. I'm liking it a lot, actually. So let's go ahead and switch over to a time-lapse mode so that way we can go ahead and start shading in this rose and again should I feel the need to touch points or touch base on any points along the way I will go ahead and come back to the video mode and we will go ahead and touch base on those points so let's go ahead and switch over to time-lapse Okay, so we are now back and as you all can see the CNC Q3 definitely does its job when it comes to shading. Keep in mind I did use a stipple shading approach here for this specific shading. However, I'm very confident if I'm going to be using a gray wash set and I'm going to go ahead and let's say shade with a magnum, this machine is definitely going to do its job as well. For this specific shading right now, my power supply is set to 5.2. So that's where I'm at right now. I was running at 5.2 volts with a bug pin three round liner to get this specific effect right here. For this uh, specific part, I was trying to get fancy and I had an idea for some texture that I want to practice and implement in my roses and that's what I was doing there. I didn't feel that I should actually try and practice that within this video as I am trying to get a point across. But as you can see, the shading is nice. It is very fluid. In my opinion, it does transition well. As you all can see right here, like some of my favorites are up here. 
this area is very very nice it's just it has nice transitions the dots did layer over one another and again that's going to vary from skin to skin as well i am using a franken skin which i will also have a full in-depth review on but the cnc q3 definitely does perform when it comes to lining it does its job when it comes to shading i'm going to go ahead and we're going to load up a cnc police needle here as you all can see and we're going to go ahead and bring out the scratch skin and we're going to go ahead and pack some black and we're going to see how it performs in that aspect Okay, so this is the scratch skin right here. We're gonna go ahead and get that cartridge and we're gonna go ahead and just start packing some black and we're gonna see how it performs in terms of packing. Okay, so we have the CNC Q3 set up with the standard 13 round mag, the new police cartridge needle also by CNC. I'm gonna go ahead and input some black and we're gonna go ahead and pack some black and see how the Q3 performs in terms of packing black. And we can also test out the cartridge as well. Go ahead and start right here so we can see it up close. Right now, I am currently running at 7.7 .7 volts. And as you all can see, the Q3 is definitely packing that black in there. The police needles put it in the work as a well. I want you all to be able to see this up close here. See if I can bring some more light around. saturation of course it's going to vary from tattooist to tattooist everyone packs back black differently however as you can see this is definitely getting saturated it's all going to come down to technicality and technique that the tattooist applies to pack them black but the point that i'm trying to demonstrate for this video is that the q3 is definitely capable of packing black as well i wonder if i even Take it down to 7.5 volts if you can still pack black it and see how it feels running a little bit slower. five volts i feel that it would you know it's swift packing black you just have to adjust your hand speed accordingly which is mild not really too big on voltage As you can see, it's definitely packing black and it's making this process of blacking out this skin. Now this is just one of my skins that I'm using to practice blacking out on. You know, practice pack, packing black on it. And this is just a scratch skin. As you can see, I just literally would practice lining and getting comfortable with lining. And this is just part of my exercise process. But overall, the Q3 is definitely packing black. It's doing it with ease as well. Um, I think, I mean, I'm not sure if the needle's doing the work or the machine or a combination of both, but that's how it feels on my end. It feels uh, swift and seamless is basically what I'm trying to say. covering up what's underneath right here as well so it's kind of cool for us to be able to see that as well here on this video
I'm very very confident as well that this is going to pack color and it's going to do what you need it to do So let's say if you're gonna be doing traditional tattoos that require Areas that are gonna be like solid red or solid green or any of the above Then this machine would definitely do the trick for you Let's say if you're gonna be pushing around shaders, which is something we should probably do in this video as well I'm sure that it's gonna go ahead and do that as well I will go ahead and grab a round shader here shortly and we'll just drag some lines or pull some lines rather, sounds more appropriate. I do love the way that this machine packs. It definitely packs black very, very fluidly or packs it with ease as you can see here. It definitely does a good job at packing black. I do highly recommend it for lining, shading, and packing black. Let's actually throw a round shader on there real quick while we're here and let's see how it pulls lines with a round shader. Okay, so right here we are running a rain standard nine round shader and we're gonna go ahead and just pull some lines here and we're gonna go ahead and just see how it performs in terms of pulling lines with the shader. And we are still at 7.5 volts. We didn't adjust the voltage. Let's go ahead and wipe and let's just see the final result. So you all can see there, it's definitely pulling lines with the shader as well. I'm personally not having anything negative to say about it. Lining with the shader, with the Q3, is seamless and it is effortless. Okay, so I know on the other side it was probably a little bit foggy or a lot going on there. So let me go ahead and pull some fresh lines here with the round shader so we can see how the Q3 performs with the round shader. So it's definitely pulling a nice, full, bold, saturated line with a bigger needle configuration. Let's go ahead and do a test here.
So as you all can see, it's definitely pulling lines with the round shader. I'm having a little too much fun here with it. I'm definitely loving the way that it pushes lines, pulls lines with the round shader. I definitely love the way that it performs with the smaller, larger needle configurations from shaders to liners to magnums and I'm pretty much everything in between. This machine right here is definitely an all around good machine to use as you can go ahead and throw shading at it, you can throw lining at it, you can pat black, you can pat color um, and all of the above. I'm confident that this machine is going to be an all around good machine for any and every tattooist of any caliber as well. Do I recommend the CNC Q3? Absolutely. I do recommend it simply because of the easy maintenance. You can go ahead and take it apart, dis disassemble the machine, sterilize it, reassemble, get onto your next tattoo. It does remind me a lot of the Q2, but as well, it does feel um, just different in its own way, which I would expect from a completely different machine. However, it is definitely up there. It is one of my favorites because of the simple maintenance, because of the quality motor, because of the performance of it as well. It can handle anything that I can throw at it. This is cool to pair with like the Q2 and the Q3 can kind of have the best of both worlds there. They both are workhorses, so it'd be hard to say which one is better. But for this specific demonstration, we will go ahead and stick with the CNC Q3. I do highly recommend it. I give this tattoo machine five stars. I definitely would recommend it to any tattooist across the globe of any caliber as again it is simple to maintain and the performance as well i also want to take a quick moment to point out that throughout this entire process throughout this entire video throughout my entire time of using the cnc q3 not once that i noticed that it heat up warm up or anything like that so throughout the entire process of tattooing this machine stayed entirely cool to touch which is also what i look for in my machines i like for my machines to stay cool to the touch i don't like for them to get warm um, but yeah that's just personal preference that's just something that i felt the need to throw out and put in there as well the CNC Q3 is also a tattoo machine that I can feel confident recommending to you as I do have a bit of experience with it and I'm pretty sure as the months go on I am going to get more experience with it. This is going to be one of my go-to tattoo machines that I use for any style of tattoo whether it's going to be a small mini tattoo or a full-blown back piece. This machine right here can definitely get the job done for me. So if I didn't touch base on anything specific that you may have wanted to know at some point throughout this video by all means please feel free to drop it in the comments down below and I'm going to do my best to guide you in the best possible direction if you're not be sure to give me a follow on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok as i do have social media and i would genuinely appreciate the support if you haven't be sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring that bell for me as i will be bringing more videos like this yet again i appreciate you tuning in thank you very much you have a great day